The flowers are still pretty, although it's gloomy outside. But let's see what's beautiful inside the auction. Thanks for watching. We're going to do a preview video today for our auction that closes Monday night. It's the uh, high end audio, furniture, decorative arts, and more. Let's see. Thank Amy for letting me in the building. Uh, you see, we have artwork by the front door, as is usually the case. And the hall is lined up. We are as full in this auction as we have ever been, I think, as far as the building is concerned. And this is our wall hall of dogs. <laughs> We have a lot of dog pictures and prints and artwork pieces in this auction. But probably the nicest piece in the auction in the hallway is this beautiful leather bed by Rossi. Um, they just do incredible work. This and many of the other pieces of furniture we'll talk about, including these mirrors, came out of an apartment down here in, on Walnut downtown, and everything was donated to a local church. So kind of a nice little deal there. Love the set of Hartman luggage. Uh, what's unusual about them is that they're tapered both top to bottom. You see, that's not a straight line there, right? That's, and then also front to back. So they're trapezoidal shaped, I guess. I don't know. Um, so if you're going to stack them, you have to kind of do them forward to front to back, back to front. But just a gorgeous set. And oh, the interior is awesome. If I can get these, there we go. Check out this pink. Whoa! What a gorgeous color, fun color pink. And they've got the Skymate Hartman tags in them. Just a fun, fun set. A lot of big decorative paintings. Nice French long stool and fun fabric that matches the fabric on this little French chair. Very cute. Really like the French, country French oak little sideboard piece, a lot of Asian decor and antiques in the auction as well. A lot of little bronzes, a lot of artwork that's ready to be framed, a lot of it's matted out. It's kind of a fun piece by Sarah Churchill, that is Winston's daughter, and that is a portrait of Winston Churchill. Shocking, she would, you know, use her father as a model. Reverse painted candy, glass, Sign is really cool. Love the Sunkai uh, footstool. This is a neat piece. The uh, revolving rent table. Good old table. The top dustbin. I'm not going to because obviously, obviously it's full right now. But a good, good table. Surrounded by a great set of four Chippendale chairs. Look at the nice carving on the fall, ball, ball and claw foot and the knees of the legs. Nice little Limoge, very classic, modern, could be used in a new, you know, a contemporary or antique setting. The Polar Bear bookends are super awesome. This one, just, the, the screws come loose. We just have it sitting there with it, um, but it's, it's all complete. It could be fixed pretty easily. Just really killer deco pieces, though. Neat Rosenthal piece. This table isn't marked, but it certainly looks and feels like Baker, and these, uh, Brass galleries are extremely heavy. Nice oval leather top table and a beautiful tavern table. Probably, you know, 1780s to 1820s. Good early piece of furniture. Check out the peg. It's, it's you know, over the years, it's, the, it's gotten, they've contracted and it's expanded so much, it's protruding that much. But beautiful work. Nice hand car, you know, hand down tub dales. Uh, just a lot of good stuff about it. Dig the architectural um, acorn, or acorn finial, sorry, tassel, with the old gilding on it. Neat book, really neat little folio of Indian Native American work. <clears throat> nice pair of chairs and great pair of sconces. Check out the rams and I think there's birds and all kinds of good, good things. A little basket of flowers on the top, wrapped, columns, great, great pieces. Beautiful Irish mahogany, two over three chests, two over two, but actually it's one over two over two because there is a hidden drawer. Like this one hand. So it's not it's not hidden hidden, like you know it's there, but it's not um, you know, there's no drawers, no pulls on it. So you can you know when your kids are young, they won't look there. When they get older, they'll look there for <laughs> wherever you're hiding. 
A lot of Chapman lamps, including this pair of tall, tall, tall candlestick banquet lamps with their original teardrop finials. Another big decorative painting by Ch uh, Shane. Nice big floral still life, heavy impasto work. Like the little oil on board up there. Good decorative lions. These are magnificent. Bronze and malachite. Super great looking. Quite heavy, obviously, as you'd expect. A little Salvador Dali piece. Factice. Nice little Celadon in blue and white piece. Chinese plate. This is an awesome thing here. This French 19th century valance. Unfortunately, the, the, the silk is, of course, you know, deteriorating over 120, 130 years. But just look at the detail on it. The crushed velvet, the tassels, uh, the, just the decorative works, just a beautiful piece. Nice bronzes, cool mid-century, you know, 60s or 70s ceramic sculpture. This chest is great. Check out the inlaid star on the top. And then just another great, great form, great size. Good piece of antique furniture. Again, two over three. Another pair of Chapman lamps with great shades and beautiful, uh, really cool liar finials. You know, you don't find Chapman lamps very often. You don't find pairs of them very often. And we have at least two pair of Chapmans and several single Chapman lamps, brass Chapman lamps in the auction. So take a look through all the lamps with some great things. Nice Victorian marble top table. Love the little zoomorphic stool with the suede top sitting right in front of the pair of Baker silver chests. Uh, you can see the one on the right was sitting much closer to the window and is bleached some, but still a great form. Nice prints. A lot of Asian themed and inspired lamps. Love the French Baker's table, Ethan Allen table. Another Asian style lamp, another Asian style lamp. <laughs> I feel like I'm a broken record here. These are really cool. We've had a set of these before of another high end estate. These come out of a condo on the plaza. Some sort of really crazy acrylic oversized fruit that are just super fun and cool. Um, the glass fish is really great, but it has been damaged. But it's still a great decorative piece. Nice grandfather, Rod Coffrin. And you can see our walkway is a little narrow because we have this big fantastic Chinese four panel screen. We step this way. And each panel has three porcelain panels. The small oval on top, the large panel in the center, and then another small oval at the bottom. There's a lot of pictures of this in the listing. So um, just a great, great hand painted screen, hardly carved frame. Uh, and you rarely find them this large, this involved, this many pieces. Again, that's out of the estate from the antique furniture um, that was donated to a church. So uh, not only are you buying a cool thing, you're supporting a local ministry, which is always a nice thing to do. Coffee table is really cool because it's also a dining table. It's on a very heavy, uh, the column inside that, inside the wooden column is a large steel screw, basically, that top spins and comes up to like a table and chairs height. So if you're in a smaller space, or uh, you know, a breakfast nook, or, or a little reading space in a porch you want to put that, and then you want to have more space for seating for company, you can easily sit four people around this uh, if you raise it up. Another great antique table. Um, a lot of these pieces were bought at Seabury Gallery. Some were bought in galleries in, in San Francisco. Some more interesting artwork. Nice little antique you know, water side, you know, beach village. A couple of nice mirrors here, like the, the antique Dutch style. These are newer, but they're good looking, uh, like antique reproduction or antique inspired pieces. A lot of people love this little uh, side chair, little armchair, I mean. Very comfortable, great condition. Uh, I believe the dog is another Chapman lamp. It's got this oil spot shade as well. More, more artwork. Beautiful, beautiful. We got a lot of rugs here. See one rolled up in the corner. We only had so much floor space. Uh, beautiful mahogany linen press uh, and with original poles. I'm not going to try and open that one handed, but just a beautiful piece of furniture. Again, we have 
or sofa, we have paintings on top of furniture uh, with rugs stacked up against them. Another great piece of antique furniture, a little gentleman's chest with the pull-out writing that surface on top. That light bulb must be loose. And it's an old style one, so I'm not going to touch it because I'd burn my fingers. <laughs> Tom and Jerry set by Hall Pottery is nice. Some really fun old toys, uh, good tin and steel toys. And then the Barbie doll is uh, a good original, a lot of original clothing. Uh, if you know anybody looking for collecting Barbies, that's a nice little group right there. Uh, nice little chalkware dogs. Pairs, a oh, great, great uh, wardrobe. And not only great exteriorly, but the interior, they lined with silk and put in glass shelves and lights uh, and made it a bar. It was just full of liquor in the house, so that's kind of a fun thing. But a great, multi, great way to use an antique piece of furniture. Uh, cool pencils. You know, this is as tall as I am, basically. Pull up one of these. So really fun, fun piece right there. Great, a lot of uh, special fun uses for that. Pairs of nightstands are always hard to find. Uh, pairs of nightstands that you really love are even harder to find. And these are great. 1940s American or Martinsville. You know, Asian, classic Asian style. Would work in so many settings. Good size. Um, and just a, a wonderful shape and size for your for a lot of folks. And a hard to find shape and size. Love the porcelain urn vase lamp as well. Nice little Chinese pot right there too. Uh, a lot of cool things. Beautiful textile. It's like an old tapestry, but it's a bedspread. Beautiful Art Nouveau, Edwardian look to it. Uh, using a rug as a tablecloth because we ran out of floors and just want to make sure that people could see this beautiful colors. The cobalt and the blues and the yellows. The greens all work so well with each other. And it's just a beautiful, beautiful piece. And it's sitting on a beautiful dining table that is kind of hidden. Uh, it comes with pads. But check out the details on the carved legs on the apron. There are two leaves in this currently as it sits. And these two leaves are original leaves that they had custom fitted with an apron. So when they had it in their condo, that's how it looked. But you see they carved the apron to match on the leaves to match the rest of the table. And there are four more leaves in the original case over there. So this table gets rather large and would seat a dozen people, I am sure, quite easily. Made in Iran, a good looking Iranian Persian rug. Another big rug there. This one has hang hooks on an end. It's supposed to hang vertically as a piece of art. Very cool. Another good antique chest. Some assemblage art. The Whippets or Greyhounds is a nice decorative painting. Good looking. And I really dig the miniature candlestick tables. Uh, not terribly old, but just really good looking and a lot of fun. Do a lot of great things with design and decorating um, and, and all those kinds of things. Great pair of food dogs as well. Um, just beautiful shape, great colors. Some more artwork. Love the miniature with child size cabinets. Uh, real fun. Another good Venetian mirror. Let's step out into the kitchen for a moment. We don't usually have things in the kitchen, but the stereo set that you all have seen that was purchased originally for about $200,000. Leading off the auction, we got Mark Levinson, Audio Research, um, Furman, Class A, it's another Levinson piece here. Uh, the Amati speakers are pretty wonderful. Uh, these were all being used. Some, some cables here. They sold their house in Sunset Hill and just didn't have a need for it in the new space um, and decided it was time to turn it loose. And so there, there it is. But I'll tell you what, if you're looking for high-end audio or know anybody that is, this is a great opportunity to buy super high-end, supreme quality pieces at prices that, they can, that a lot of people can afford. Alrighty, we're still not done. Spectacular Chippendale bookcase, probably 1820 to 1840. Good mahogany piece. Those doors are glazed, folks. That's not an overlay. Each of those pieces of glass are individual. So every little piece of glass is set into this fretwork. 
see if I can get this. I can get this open. So if you look at the back, see it's all glazed in place. You know, very, very nice. A lot of detail to that, a lot of work. And then inside the cabinet, some really neat pieces too. Great art glass. Love these air twist stems. Only problem is there's only three, but still very cool. I love the little scroll work on top as well. Some nice more art glass contemporary pieces. Prints and engravings, paperweights. A couple of nice bracket clocks. Beautiful chased sterling coffee service. I believe that's by Whiting. Yeah, Frank Whiting. Beautiful, beautiful set. Some more silver. Nice a Mont Blanc pen, which we don't get very often, but uh, always fun. More silver. And then the bottom two shelves is a single set of Romance of the Sea Sterling Flatware. Folks, that's a big set. Um, I forget. There's, there's over 112 pieces, I think, and it's heavy. So take a good look at the silver. You'll be surprised at what that weighs out at and how good that set is. More rugs. Love the uh, Chippendale desk with the Chinese glaze, the Chinese red lacquer glaze on it. It's not really Chinese lacquer, but it's kind of give that impression. Good antique French chair sitting at it. That's the box that the silver set came in. Neat pair of Italian, and I think they're Italian inlaid chairs. Love the black and white Scotty dog uh, dispenser. Not old again, but a really fun piece. Little uh, Oriental Roman mats. These are kind of fun clocks. Um, a kind of gimbal, you know, just decorative again, but uh, fun stuff. Another cute little Oriental, another cute little Oriental. And then this Edwardian cabinet is beautiful too. Love that curved glass front. And this is full of uh, cross swords. Uh, cross swords is Myosin, right? Yeah. Myosin or Sales, Myosin. Uh, the leak in there. The Cebus, uh, fun pieces of Cebus. Uh, the collector on these liked interesting things, but she also liked quality, and Cebus kind of fits the well on these um, pieces I've not seen before in that realm. Rosenthal, the leak, Stuben, Baccarat, some nice little glass pieces. Religious uh, pieces right there are fun. More up top, Napoleon. Some nice uh, unframed oils. Really dig this little Victorian holding hands uh, with the roses around. Very sweet antique image. This coffee table is really quite special. I think it's super neat and fun and cool. Uh, leather uh, has a drawer. But what's really cool are these copper pullouts that look like they've never seen the light of day as, as bright as that copper still is. And these come up quite a ways. I mean, they that's a pretty good platform, so... I mean, you can see, you can use it as a mirror. It's so reflective. In fact, look at that. Ah, it almost is a copper mirror. Little Gerdon table. Dance trays are fun. Little lamp. Really like the tramp art. It was on the collection in St. Louis that we've been working on for a while. Big decorative thing. A couple of nice chandeliers. Uh, that crystal one's pop -ups, possibly or probably Waterford. I don't think we would look for a mark, but it certainly looks like Waterford. That came out of the Walnut apartment. The bronze one came out of the Plaza condo. More pictures. This table is Baker. This is cool, kind of out of character for the auction, but the Sanford School Paste with the original label and the original shipping crate. I, you know, we've never, I've rarely seen the School Paste jar, even more rarely with the low label, but I've never seen it with the library paste shipping container. Super cool all the way around. The uh, full rattan game set's fun. Table and four chairs, just a nice quality, nice size. Uh, very usable, especially for the holidays coming up. If you're gonna have family over, because we can't go out anywhere. Um, just a nice thing to have to sit people at. More artwork, little silk uh, piece in the corner. It's kind of fun. Uh, looks like Russian maybe? Interesting. But, uh, oh, and the chrome set's kind of fun. Oh, and I forgot these chairs over here. <laughs> chrome table, uh, this neat little entry table. These four chairs from a different consigner, but it looks like they were made to sit around this table. I mean, it really is a nice little working group um, that could be really fun. 
Really like these pair of armchairs. Again, good quality leather and just nice to have a pair. Some modern pieces. Love this brass table. I'm sure this is a specific designer, but we cannot find out who it is or who it is. This, you know, squared off column, the ball feet on the squared off tapered legs, the Russell Wright pillow base, hard to find piece. <laughs> Can't say Super Bowl souvenir from uh, oh, which Super Bowl souvenir is that from? I forget. Obviously, it's when Lenny was the quarterback. Not when Patrick is. And then 64A's yearbook, kind of fun, fun pieces. So, folks, this is a really fun auction. Oh, and don't forget about the nice big oriental rug there in the front room, in the hallway. Yeah, Mara, there's a lot of wow, isn't there? <laughs> but, um, oh, continue. I hit the wrong button. Hopefully, you didn't go black on me there. Um, but, yeah, just uh, we're really excited about this one. A lot of great big furniture pieces. Um, you guys might have read, for those of you who've been here before, you know that that is usually, we have a, uh, like a conference table, antique conference table you see in there, but we had so much furniture coming in, I had the movers bring that table upstairs, and, uh, we brought that, put that dining table there instead, and used it to put furniture on, um, nice pair of Chinese-style horseshoe chairs, this lamp is quite wonderful, it needs to be repaired, another Chapman, um, if you follow our Instagram stories, you'll know what that's about, our Facebook posts, uh, a painting we just consigned today, and a state we just consigned today. Uh, the painting was bought at Sotheby's back in the 99, I think. So we're pretty excited about. But this auction we're excited about, too. Again, a great collection of antique furniture, decorative objects, and wonderful, beautiful pieces for your home. And I know most of us are spending a lot more time in our homes right now than ever before. And there's good and bad for that with that. But you have a chance to buy some great pieces for your home today or in this auction that will really make you stand out amongst your friends. Thanks. Have a great weekend. If you have any questions, post them here. Uh, give us a call. Check out the auction, and we'll be happy to answer any questions that you have or uh, help you register or bid for the auction. Thank you so much. Have a great afternoon, and we'll talk to you soon.